know what they say guys never give up that's right keep grinding and that's what we're uh that's what we're doing out here folks we uh as y'all know we had just an awful morning i was gonna try to do two videos today one in the morning one at night but i'm not gonna put y'all through uh, a video of me catching one dinky catfish Ooh, got one. guys he feels like a pretty good one but this current is ripping so there he is oop all right well we're at least catching fish now let me go get bigger so um here we are uh round two uh, i get to break in my uh my lights here i'm excited i just put those together i think that that's gonna help me a lot for filming at night um because you know there's just such little light it's it's just kind of hard but anyways guys here we are um what we're gonna be doing is um actually came up the river a little bit um, I like this spot a lot. It's a submerged island. Um, I, as you can see, I've got some timber over here. I've got one live bluegill. That's what's over here. And then the rest is gonna be super fresh shad that I just caught. Got some really nice gizzard shad. So, uh, so yeah, let's get it done, guys. Let's get it done. On, on. Find them in this current, guys. I'll tell you what. They... Golly. I'll tell you what. He ain't budging, guys. This might be a good fish. to take me right into that brush but I ain't letting them I'm muscling down on this one all right guys well I gotta net this thing hold on a second Well guys, he's not nearly as big as I thought he was because this current is freaking rolling right now. But he about whooped my butt, guys. Nice little 30 something pounder. Well, the scale says that he is about 26. Gosh, he fought like he was a hundred. Anyways, let's go let this one go. Oop, didn't have the camera on, but I just hooked up with another one. Oh, he feels equally as big. Holy. All these are coming off the deep end too, guys. Guys, I've got my drag just buttoned down because this current's rolling so hard. Get them all. They just get, they just sit there in that current and freaking 
turn sideways and don't move. I got my net uh, fastened down now, so so we should be good. I'll tell you what, this evening bite is much better than the morning bite. All right, guys, finally got one in the net. Didn't have to lip him. He's not very big. He felt big, too. Ooh, he's bleeding. All right. All right, there we go. Fish number two in this crazy current. He felt huge as well. He was a big one. Let's go. Oh, got him. He feels like a smaller one. Oh, no, there he goes. There he goes. Okay, that's what we're used to. <laughs> Guys, these lights are, are doing great, aren't they? It's hard to tell if they're hung in something or if, or if they're just fighting the current. He's fighting the current, though. Yeah, there he is. Golly, he's all the way across the bottom here. Oh, there he is. Golly, that current is insane. Okay. I believe instead of that, I'm gonna try to grip him too. There we go. He's in the boat. <laughs> okay. I want y'all to look how I hooked him. Let's give me the light there. You see that? Right in the bottom. I got lucky that I got him. He's a not too shabby. 
Let's see if we can get them on the big camera. All right, guys, fish number three. Oh my gosh, got a double on guys. Holy <laughs> Man, y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see that, but this rod right here, I don't know what happened, but it went down and something splashed out here. I wonder if that was a striper. See, this one, I don't have a lot of line on it, so I've just got it suspended down uh, not far. The current's washing it out, but it's not far from the boat. I don't know if maybe you guys heard that splash, but I think that we might have almost had a striper on right here. I wish we would have got that. All right, we're gonna let him go, guys. Right. He's trying to roll on me. Okay, yeah, he went down. All right, guys, well, here we are. We're back in the garage. My battery's died, so I did not get to do an outro, unfortunately, but don't worry. Y'all didn't miss anything. All I got after, you know, the batteries went dead was one dinky little catfish. All the action happened, you know, right as, sun, as the sun was going down. You know, the sun was setting and the fish were biting. And I was really happy to see that because, you know, earlier in the day, it was just terrible out there. I actually uh, went out fishing in the morning. It was too windy to really do anything. I was about to start drifting and y'all wouldn't believe it. But I dropped my daggum anchor on my troubling motor remote, crack the screen, and then the this thing doesn't work anymore. 300 bucks to replace it, but I am not gonna pay $300 for a remote, especially one that I don't like. I hate how big and bulky that thing is. It's heavy, uh, it's just, it's not very convenient. So I'm gonna find a different route, maybe a smaller one or something like that. But anyways, um, later on, you know, came back, moved location, started fishing something completely different. Wind settled down, so I was able to actually anchor up. And with as much current as we had, guys, that current was freaking rolling. Um, you know, here in Tennessee, we do get current, you know. I mean, the Tennessee River, maybe half mile, maybe, you know, a mile, an hour or so. But, I mean, it was ripping the day. It's not usually ever like that. Um, so, to every fish that I caught felt like a freaking monster. I actually did a Facebook Live video because I thought that I was about to just completely destroy my personal best. But... Didn't happen, it ended up not even being a 30 pounder. So uh, anyways, we had a good time. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I, I certainly enjoyed catching them. Uh, so please like, subscribe, and let's do this again. I'll see y'all next time.